So philosophy in the Western sense means generally an exercise of the intellect and the manipulation of symbols is very largely until we come to poetry and music, an exercise of the intellect. But what philosophy has become today in the academic world is something extremely restricted. By and large in the academic world of both the United States and England, Germany, France to some extent, philosophy is falling into two other disciplines. Mathematical logic on the one hand and linguistics on the other. And uh, the departments of philosophy throughout the academic world have bent over backwards to be as scientific as possible. As William Earle, who was professor of philosophy at Northwestern University, said in an essay called Notes on the Death of a Culture, that an academic philosopher today must above all things avoid being edifying. He must never stoop to lying awake at nights, considering problems of the nature of the universe and the destiny of man, because these have largely been dismissed as metaphysical or meaningless questions. So uh, unworthy of a scientific philosopher who arrives at his office at nine o'clock in the morning dressed in a business suit carrying a briefcase and does philosophy until five in the afternoon, at which point he goes home to cocktails and dinner and dismisses the whole matter from his head. And William Earle adds, he would wear a white coat to work if he could get away with it. Uh, this is, of course, a little exaggerated, but this, by and large, is what departmental academic philosophy has become. And oriental philosophy is simply not philosophy in that sense.